Hey everyone, I'm Steve Fulgoni and I'm here in the shop at the wood turning store where in this video we're going to take a side-by-side -side look at the Axminster SK114 and SK100 wood turning chucks. So let's get a look at the chucks. On my right, you have the SK114. The SK114 is, as the name says, 114 millimeters in diameter, which is about four and a half inches. Over here, we have the SK100, 100 millimeters, or about four inches in diameter. They're both fitted with the Type C dovetail jaws. And as you could see, even though the diameter of the jaw backplate here is slightly larger on the SK114 as compared to the 100, the C jaws are exactly the same with regard to the internal diameter. So the accessories that I'll talk about in other videos, such as the screw chuck, such as faceplate rings, these accessories for the C jaws can be used on either the SK114 or the SK100. If I were to take a look at a different set of jaws, so for example, here I have cylinder jaws. These cylinder jaws are 100 millimeters in diameter, and you could see they fit perfectly over the SK100, and they'll also fit just fine over the SK114. Slightly smaller in diameter than the 114 millimeters, but they'll work just fine. The most noticeable difference between the two chucks is in the weight. The SK114 comes in at about 8 pounds, the SK100 about 5 pounds, and that's because of the design of the gearing system. The SK114 has obviously a scroll gear in the front, bevel gear system in the back, with three internal gears, one, two, three. So they're turned and enabled with a square chuck key. The chuck key that comes with it is this right here. This is the standard length chuck key. The SK100 is noticeably different. The standard chuck key, standard length chuck key used on the SK114 is a square drive, driving any of the three internally held uh, drive gears. <clears throat> Direct threaded, as are all the Axminster chucks, and the back gearing is completely sealed with a cover plate. The SK100 is an open gearing system. So it also has uh, holes here for three points where you can drive it. However, as you can see, it's not sealed, it's not uh, covered by any back plate. The chuck key looks like a familiar drill chuck type of key. So this comes on here like this. People have uh, large differences in opinion whether they prefer a chuck with an open back or a chuck with a sealed back. Even though the jaws are usable across both chucks, the SK114 will give you about half an inch to three quarters of an inch more jaw travel. Now, as we know, when you're using your chuck jaws, you want to try and keep those, uh, those jaw circles as close to a complete circle as possible. So ideally, you're not opening up your 114 to the large diameter, such as that, such as that, but it might be useful on cold jaws. We all know how tricky cold jaws are to get the buttons right. I think the SK100 is well suited for any lathe, from a mini lathe up to a full size lathe. The SK114, as I said, at about eight pounds, I would probably not use it on a mini lathe.
In both cases, the bodies are stainless steel. Almost all of the Axminster jaw sets are stainless steel. They both have the internal socket head cap screw to prevent the jaws from expanding too far out, which I've explained in other videos. As for a quick overview, that about covers it. SK114, your big chuck for bigger lathes, bigger projects. SK100, all around chuck, suitable for anything from midi lathes up to full size lathes. I hope that was helpful. In the next video, we'll go over uh, some of the accessories that are available for the Type C jaws on the SK100 and the SK114. Hope you stay tuned for that. Please like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.